on the 30th of September last month we went to the Bible study before I joined the congregation already praying I told one of our group coordinators I said when I finish my message today the Bible study you will come to lead them in prayer the church but if I decide after the study I will lead the prayer by myself don't worry but I'm telling you ahead of time so you listen to the message and when I finish on the 30th of September those who are here those who are that Bible study you know you're on Bible study that day and that I will preach I will teach and then at the end I may leave the prayer or I may just leave the pulpit. I will not call your name. You just come in and lead them in prayer. It so happened that that day, after the teaching of the word of God, I decided I will lead our brethren in prayer. And then we closed with prayer. The reason I'm telling you this is what I want to say now. Normally, we record all our messages, and it goes to the whole of Nigeria, whole of Africa, and goes to England, and goes everywhere. That Monday Bible study, the latter part of the prayer, when I prayed for the congregation, somebody in the UK, London in particular, caught that last part that prayer because she was going to visit somebody in the hospital that person had been on oxygen life support that means the doctors the doctors actually called the family about three weeks before or two weeks before that time and they said there's nothing we can do anymore we put this your son on the machine life support but once it reaches this stage because we know there's no hope anymore we'll withdraw the life support and then allow him to die and the relatives they saw the condition of that child and they saw no hope there's hope in God so the mother of that child, I think the child about 15, 16 years of age, said, it's all right. Instead of the child, the boy suffering like this, let him go. But this sister said, no, she will, he will not go. And took the prayer, the end of the Bible study of 30th September. By the time she got there, they have withdrawn the life support. They have taken oxygen, they have taken everything away. And the boy was gasping, about to die. And the sister put the, uh, whatever she took to record that message on her phone, put it in the, eye, in the ear of that child. What the child was gasping, 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 about to die. He put the phone containing that prayer and the prayer was being prayed and prayed in Jesus name and the church in Nigeria said amen at the end praise the Lord praise the Lord at the end of that prayer the gasping for air stopped the child went to sleep and was breathing normally. The following day, the following day, the sister visited again. Everything was all right. And the child has now been taken from the intensive care and is now in the normal place yesterday because i wanted to i wanted to use the testimony i called the pastor in the uk i said 
when last did you see that child? And what's the condition of that child now? The pastor told me, sir, everything is okay. And in your life, I come to tell you today, everything is all right. In your family, I come to tell you today, everything is all right. If the prayer recorded on the phone can take somebody away from the brink of death and bring him to life, this one is not prayer on the phone. This one is direct eyeball to eyeball. You're delivered. You're set free. Your yokes are broken. And your mountains are removed in Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up and open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. And understand that the Lord is still on the throne. The Lord is still on the throne. Though Job suffered, Jesus is still the same. Tell the Lord.